of NCAA Season 99 Men's Basketball. Glad to have you with us as we witness this matchup between Benil and Detran. Ton Rojas alongside Coach Hammer, Martin Antonio, and of course, working hard at courtside, Diana Aguil reporting for Benil and reporting for Detran is Hannah Arguelles. 11 point advantage for the Blazers who are looking to back their 11th win of the season. And of course, two more games remaining. And after this, they will have San Beda in their last game, which is incidentally also going to be the last game of the elimination round. So still a lot of things to look forward to bago matapos ang ating elimination round. Bola na kay Garupil, binigay dito kay Deo Kwahaw. Kwahaw pulls up, Deo Kwahaw, shot is short, Borcello saves it to the wrong man. Oxon is running, Oxon back to Kahoko. Good recognition, rewarding Josh Kahoko on that hard sprint. Would have given it to Turco for them. Garupil pulls up from the baseline. Walks on. Battling for the rebound. And Jamawas, or rather Borcelos, back. Hits the baseline as Gobi Monhe returns. Corteza Jump hook by Mickey Corteza What a second half He is having He and Mark Sango Both of them picking up the clutches uh -huh. After Will Guazzo Had to head to the locker room On a wild reverse Bothered it's Benil basketball as we hear from Diana Igual. With Will Gossip still not returning on the court, Coach Charles in their most recent huddle asked the rest of the team to keep on stepping up and to put more and more effort in this final quarter. So far, Anton and Coach Hammer, Coach Charles is happy about the sudden confidence that he's shown of his opponent. He's just saying that they don't have the position to be the champion. If anything, they just have to keep doing what they're doing right now. Okay, naman ay higitatan pa ito. That's it for the side of the Blazers. Anton and Coach Hammer, balik sa inyo. Yeah, no reason to be complacent at all because some pundits would say complacency is one of the reasons why Benilde had a poor first round, not living up to the hype and expectations. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, Anton, we just need to get to the final four so that we have a chance for the championship. Again, we'll go back to the championship that they won. It's a hard time. He tries to beat the Kalapan, he tries to beat him. So the last game of the eliminations, we need to win the UPHR. Pa nun. Para makapasok sa Final Four. They were able to do it. They were able to beat Perpetual twice. And then, nanalo sila sa San Sebastian. Marcos. Oxon. Kahukok coming off that elevator screen. Kahukok for three. Ball goes out of bounds. It's Letran basketball. And speaking of the Knights, we have this report from Hannah Arguelles. Thank you so much, Anton. It is a tense last few minutes, especially with the door to a win against the Benito Blazers slowly closing for the Letran Knights, losing their advantage on the scoreboard. Coach Renzi Bahar is frustrated, to say the least. Kaya naman paalala niya sa kanyang kumpunan, push the ball, be aggressive, and to not give up since a lot can happen in a single quarter. Yan muna ang quick update mula sa mga Knights, Anton and so a fast-paced 
offense. Yan ang hinihingi Coach Renzi Bahar as they are playing uh -huh. catch-up. But they've got to get those shots to fall through the net. Ano din yung mga tira, kaya lang hindi nahuhulog. Walks on. Long step back. Kahoko spins into trouble. Rupil, binigay dito kay Batalier. Wow! To Habinanar. There's the play. It's for Monhe. Monhe is blocked, but he will head to the line for two. Body contact. So after a long sporting drought for Kobe Monhe, Monhe with a chance to add to his total and two free throws. move on from Kobe being stuck at 16, but two for five from the free throw line today. Uh huh. There you go. 17 points for Kobe Monhe. Three away from matching his career high. Problem is, Natran is down by 13. But they need to make a run here. Nakakuha naman sila ng stops. Hindi lang sila makakonvert. Carlos. Oxon, back to Prince. Oxon, binigay dito kay Marcos. Marcos. Good move, was unable to put it down. Garupil, sidestep. Oh, Garupil. Sayang lang hindi natapos. Oxon, to Carlos, had a lot of time to think about that three. Carlos, scoop shot. Marcos, almost the put back. Javilanar gets it to Quahao. Garupil. Wow, Garupil is... He is stepping up and in a position to have to do his job, which was not part of the guard. Ganyan din yung tindig pa ni Buhok. Si Aloy Tapla. Di ba stocky lang si Tapla? Pero parehas pa din mga atake. Nalala mo ba? Is it Tapla or Tapia? Tapla. Tapla. Yeah, I remember always being confused with his last name. Parang kakambal ni Kojak Meligrito yung tindig. Garupil. Similar plays being run by both teams. Oh, tough shot. Tough shot. Wow, humihingi ng foul. Dea Quahao, by the way, has two more playing years here in the NCAA. Oh. So he will play marami beyond mang, season 100. So, despite playing for his third school in college, meron pang dalawang taon Bota dito sa NCAA, si Dea Quahao. And the thing is, I, I covered him when he was playing for his previous school uh -huh. before the pandemic, so... I was actually surprised to know that my dalawang taon pa si Deo. Magro Madrid 16 lang sa lineup na agad. Oxon shoots in front of Guajao. Miguel Oxon will still play in season 100. Did he say? Well, unless he changes his mind, he did not say. But eligibility, yes. Oh, malakas din ako kung ganon si Oxon na. Kasi ang sure lang na hindi na eligible, Carlos Corteza, Flores, Gozum, and Naive. Mm. Pero yung mga eligible pa for 100, Marcos, Oxon, Sanko, Turco, and... Well, Lepala, but he hasn't been playing much. Uh -huh. 
de timp. I think I hit 0 uh, out of 8, 0 out of 9 the whole game si Mix Oxon pagka end game. Iba eh, who you know? Yeah, parang si Paolo Hernandez, oh. remember? When he hit that big shot, oh. yung, siya pa yung dumay para sa bola. And then on yes. the reversal, siya, oh, sa kanya pa na pumba. Ayan to, no? ito yung value ng Makoy Marcos. Kayang sumuit siya big guys na hindi nasasaktan gaano si Coach Charles. Kaya lang kailangan niya magbigay ng foul dun sa pihit ni Patillier. Bautista, another player getting some burn here. All of a sudden, for the Letran Knights, Justin Bautista. <laughs> exit screen para dito. Okay, Mix Oxon getting in rhythm for that three. Right on cue. And Benil is up by Sweet 16. Ayun! Ako! Thank you. Thank you, Papa Martin and JV. Andun sila ngayon. Siyempre, mga papi ng NCAA yan, Pekto. Mm -hmm. And of course, kasama ko si Chase. Yeah. Hi, Chase. Kamusta, Pekto? Mabuti naman. At tanong ko lang sa'yo, wala bang humahabol sa'yo? Ah... Uh, Wala. Hoy! Sandali! Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hindi mo Chase, wala. Sorry, sorry. Chase kasi hinahabol. Well, anyway, nandito kami ngayon sa Barangay Ugong Pasig City. At syempre, para maghanap ng mga supporters sa, syempre, dito sa NCA. Miguel Oxon was scoreless in the first three quarters. But here in the fourth, turning it on. Like a microwave, getting hot in an instant. And after this, Coach Charles and his Benil Blazers has one more team remaining on the schedule. And it's the EAC Generals. Important game para sa kanila. They need to take care of that. To at least be at number four. Three and four, rather. It's like hotly contested. Eh? Four teams trying to buy for that. Number four spot. Mapua still has to play JRU. Uh -huh. LPU has to play San Beto. Yep, on Tuesday. <laughs> My goodness. Yun yung nakagandahan na scheduling eh. Sa dulo, magpabakbakan pa kayo. Bautista. Wow, pretty finger roll. Uh, yeah. Sayang lang. Carlos against Bautista. Mara against Javilinar. Well, you can see Javilinar very invested in uh -huh. that matchup. And look at him run. Wow, all the way. Carlos. Defended by the sophomore, Justin Bautista. Oxon shoots and scores off the glass. Kailangan lang makabutas ng isa, dire-diretsyo na. That is third triple, if I'm not mistaken, or fourth. You're right about the first one, third triple. Three out of seven, all made here in the fourth. So double digits na siya agad. Ganun-ganun lang. Mara. Carlos says, let's set it up. Walks on, still moving. Still a threat. And still forcing Letran to foul him. Mara, a lot of contact. And Justin Bautista gets it up ahead to Deo Quahao, and then the response by Miguel Oxon. Garupil. Defending Oxon, and that's going to be the Tran basketball as we enter the last two minutes of the game. Come 
बॉल है रोपिया First impressions last, and I will never forget the entry of this guy, yeah, Stephen Garupil. Man, when you're a rookie sticking your tongue out in your first game, and it's a San Pedro Letran matchup, you know this guy's got balls. Yep. The Cajones. Also. Wanting to put the finishing touches on this impending win by the Blazers. Oxon for three. His fourth in the quarter. Icing on the king for Miguel Oxon. On him. On him. Throws it out to Batalier. Batalier, Garopil, oh, he's had a lot of those misses. So, just a little bit of polishing needed. Oh, finishing, finishing. Yan ang gagawin niya, magsiskill work na magsiskill work ngayong uh, off-season. Mara. Oxon. <laughs> Akala ko, oh. Back shot from the other side. Ayo, pero pasko. And that's gonna do it. Another decisive win for Benil over Letran. As Coach Charles Tew and his Blazers improve to. 11 and 6 Letran falls to 2 and 15. The Blazers are back in third place. Final tally 72 for Benilde, 54.